Hello, hello. Welcome back to Skyrim. My uh, idiot new playthrough. Oh no, my horse is invisible. <laughs> Shadowmere. Oh, there we go. She's come to life. That was very strange. So, last episode we were doing lots and lots of um, Dark Brotherhood assassination quests. And I intend to continue that today. Um, we were about to go and kill Decus. <laughs> Which I think is a funny name, and that's why I picked him first, to be honest. Um, yeah, so let's uh, disembark. Go sneaky, sneaky mode. What weapon have you got? You'll be alright. Uh, now, someone can see us. I don't know if that's the horse or if that's someone down here. I killed a couple of dragons on the last on the last playthrough. Oh, hidden detected. I don't know who can see me. Is he on a boat? Hmm. Let's check the map and see where he actually is. Oh, he's all the way out here. Oh, okay, when I when I parked up, he was like there. So maybe he's sailing. All right, we need the. Okay, we need the uh, horsey for this. Come on, Shadowmere. We need to chase a boat. We did uh, a bit of uh, running around on the horse. Did a bit of fast traveling. Yeah, a bit of dragon slaying, and just generally tried to get powered up. I do have a perk sat somewhere, and I did think, oh, I make a lot of potions, but I haven't actually invested in potions, so that might be something to do. Let's take the horse just vertically down here. Lydia will find her way. <laughs> I'm reliably informed by Samantha that uh, Shadowmere can't die. She just gets kind of injured. And I'm relying on that, because I've just kind of using her to go like straight over cliffs and stuff okay hello Fenris how are you doing uh, so is that a crashed ship or a parked ship let's swim over on horseback and then we'll sneak everything's so silent in this part of the world Okay, sneaky, sneaky. And still visible. It must be the horse. How are you, Fenris? I noticed you were playing Skyrim yourself earlier. What, what are you up to on yours? Ah, uh, Dekus is going to get soul trapped. Let's just walk up to him. My sneak mm. doesn't really work. You go find your own wreck. This one's mine. Uh, sorry, Argonian, but I've been sent to kill you. What? Why? I don't understand. I've done nothing to wrong you. Please, mercy. <laughs> sorry, bro. No more. I yield. I yield. <laughs> All right, that's that done for Nazir. Let's take uh, all the money. When he yields, can you show mercy? Oh, so uh, Fenris has been doing a uh, Kaji unarmed build. Oh yeah, you were saying about that yesterday. Going and punching dragons. There we go. A Dwarven Mace. Uh, how much does that weigh? 16. I'll take that and sell it. Looks like everything. Oh, and let's just eat all these cabbages. All in one go. Well, that was pretty good. Uh, we're going to uh, fast travel to the next... Victim. 
kill Anorias. I must kill the archer Anorias, who can usually be found at his food stall in Whiterun, or hunting in the plains outside the city. I may use any means at my disposal. When I'm done, I'm to report back to Nazir at the sanctuary and collect my reward. Okie dokie. It's fast travel there, the horse will come with us. And hopefully he'll be outside, because I don't particularly want to kill someone in the middle of White Run. I don't think that would be a good idea. I know, it's saying he's inside. Maybe it's like certain times of day. Uh, that he's um, he's out roaming. I'm pretty sure I met him actually. I think he shot a fox. He might be in his house. This person's still here. Let's have a quick look at the map. Okay, he's in the pub. Interesting. Anorias, where are you? In this room. Now he is asleep, so... Let's equip my best sword. And then uh, just drop a quick save in case it doesn't work. You <laughs> can reload. Hi, Samantha. Good luck on your talk in about 20 minutes. Right, power attack. Single kill. Nice. I need to get out of here. I don't know who that person was sitting in the chair. Oh yes, yeah, Samantha is doing a talk. Uh, for a, Is it for a competition today or is it just a talk? Um, and you're loosely basing it around game theory in education, if I understand rightly. Is that right? Okay, that's that guy. That was actually not too hard. Quests. Uh, kill Marandru Joe. I must find and kill the Khajiit Marandru Joe, a merchant who travels with one of the caravans. I mean, any means at my disposal when I'm done. Okay. Let's find him. Uh, I don't see a quest marker. It's because I wasn't tracking it. <laughs> oh, it's just right there. Okay, let's go. Have I still got my sneaky stuff on now. I've got my full armor. Hello. And how may Marandru Joe assist you? Mm -hmm. Do I need to wait till you're asleep? Uh, let's try five hours. Oh, so Sam says that her um, talk is not a competition. It's just just talking. There just is talk. much beauty in this place. Lydia, you're stuck. Let's wait another hour. Oh, PM. Oh, okay, hang on. Let's wait until midnight. About midnight. See if he goes to bed. <laughs> Hello, evil Satan baby from hell. Are you going to go to bed, mate? And how may Marandru Joe assist you? Mm -hmm. Okay, he's in bed. Some I need you to go to bed as well. But others come to steal. Khajiit shows no mercy to these. I go the other side and maybe... Oh, 
still detected. Oh, Satan baby, uh, you popped into the stream yesterday, but um, we did the whole Cicero quest line um, without you. Uh, let's wait one more. Oh, wait, she's going to bed. Uh, I let him live because I want him as a follower. I'm going to bring him. I'm going to bring him with me on a, on something like a major quest line. Go to bed, woman. Yeah, I thought it'd be cool to take Cicero with me on, like the companions or the civil war or something like really serious. Is she going to go to bed now? This is getting painful. Are you on watch or something? Uh, the person that can see me is this lady over here. Uh, Akaba. She's not facing me. Oh, can someone else see me? Is it Lydia? Oh, it's this guy. No, he's getting up. You slept for like four hours. And how may Marandru draw assist you? Oh, man. All right. Uh, let's, uh, let's wait 18 hours and see if they go back to bed. Hello, King. How are you? How are you today? Take Cicero to gather crimson nern root since they remind you of his jester hat. I'll bear that in mind. Is that the stuff that screams? Right, he's going to bed. These two never sleep. Yeah, maybe I should use the bow. I just, I'm really low archery, so I don't know. Oh, this is pretty painful, eh? Let's wait through it again. Go to bed. You're going to chop wood. Oh, can I pickpocket poison into his body? Is that uh, is that a thing that you said I could do? Let's have a look at the poison. Uh, I'll go make some. Poison of average stamina. Is there a particular type of poison that uh, is will instantly kill someone? Because I'd go make some or buy some right now. What happened? Let's go to the poison shop, potion shop. This time, half seven, uh, eight o'clock maybe. Stay away from that. Yeah, but I want to go in there and buy stuff. Take a good look around. I'm sure you'll find what you Oh, Satan baby, your head's fried. Been a busy day. My head's also fried. I only slept a few hours last night. I was awake till like six a.m. It was nuts. Rather pale. Could be a taxia. It's quite right, what have you got for so sale? You're interested in my potions and ingredients. Potions. I want poison. Okay, let's try it. Let's see what we can make. Back anytime if you need a remedy. Uh, unfortunately, it wasn't good times until six. I just literally couldn't sleep. I don't really know why. Here we go, Nernroot and Nightshade. 
Poison of damage health. Got one of them, and we'll go pickpocket. I offer remedies for ailment. Reverse pickpocket him. All about you. Satan Baby says it's probably because I'm not using all that bottled energy that I'm staying up late. It's that, and it's also the fact that I ate my dinner at 11 p.m. and it just charged me up. Um, I'm not using my energy because I've got a uh, bit of a nerve injury thing that keeps cropping up and I'm recovering from, so I can't actually do much exercise. It's pretty frustrating. Where's the caravan? Has it moved on? It's over there. Okay, let's uh, fast travel to the giant camp and we'll walk south. Got an old Bulgarian wives tale. When the body's working, the head's at rest. Yeah. We have a similar phrase in England. The sleep of the labouring man, or woman, I suppose, actually, is sweet. Um, it's on a plaque uh, at a beach on the north coast, I think, called Mother Eve's Bay, uh, where somebody's, like, memorised. I, I hear... Dragon. Ah, here we go. All right, let's fight this. Like this guy. I think I'll have to put my bow on. He's ice. I think I've got some re resist frost potions actually. He's good. They fly pretty far away. Look, he's right over there. Is he? Is he going to kill the guy? I think he might go and kill the assassination victim. Just trashed my stamina with that. Let's get uh, the flame atronach out. A wolf? Are you joking me? There's literally a dragon here. Cool. Let it go. There it is. Run to the side. Stop you from attacking. There he goes. Where's Lydia? Lydia! Where are you? <laughs> what are you having a go now? I'm just going to quickly heal, even though it's like a tiny amount. And then we'll go back to Sword and Shield. Why have you gone all the way up there? Come back! Oops, I think I've made an enemy of the of the guy. Die, dragon, die. Yes! Get in! Oi! Oi! Do you mind? I'm around you, go. I know I was gonna kill you, but. Oh. Alright, cool. Well, we solved that problem. Take his gold, eat his chicken breast, eat that, take that, take that. There was a lady around here somewhere too. It's really dead. I never would have believed it. Can you train me to sneak? Right, let's have a look at the chat. What was happening eyes. while I was Uh Never should have come here. Oi! I thought I killed you. Okay. 
Are you like a key NPC? That's why I can't kill you. Okay, let's uh, let's just run away. Cool. Well, I have done all of the contracts. So let's report back to Nazir. I think I've got a level up and I don't know where the horse has gone. Can't fast travel when enemy is nearby. Right. Yeah, I'm not sure where Lydia went. <laughs> Fenris says the dragon goes back to Nazir and collects the bounty for you. <laughs> that would be cool. Maybe that's where Lydia's gone. The mammoth, what are you doing, mate? Look. That mammoth is uh, not supposed to be there. Let's see if I can fast travel now. There we go. So that says there's a Spriggan nearby. Um, uh, is that like the dryad things you were talking about in Discord last night? They kind of look like the Atronax, but made of wood. Right, where's Nazir? Brother. Do, 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 Yesterday's stream got a copyright strike for a one second piece of music where I was humming a tune. <laughs> it was really weird. I, I dealt with it, but it was, yeah, it was really strange. Right, here we go. Dekus is dead. Personally, I've always found Argonians to be incredibly unpredictable opponents, especially near water. In any event, nice work. Here's your payment. Andrew Joe is dead. Ah, well done, well done. Those caravanners can be an elusive bunch. Takes a fair bit of stalking to take one down. But then, that's half the fun, isn't it? Here's your payment. Well earned indeed. Oh, uh, so Satan baby, should I go back and get the heart from that elk? Because I don't think I, I don't think I looted it at all. So the hunter came to know the fear of the hunted. Hmm? Your payment, my friend. Well done. Thank you, Nazir. Are there any more contracts? Just one right now, actually. Yes. I need you to eliminate an old woman named Agnes, Agnes? a servant in Fort Greymore. Oh, the Spriggan hearts are worth money, not the elk hearts, I see. I understand. Talian says copyright crap is insane with YouTube. It uh, boggles the mind. Yes, you had you had some strange run-ins where people were trying to scrape your data, didn't you? Right, tell me about Agnes. She's a maid, old and feeble. But with this contract, it's much more a matter of where than who. Your political affairs are your own, but any allegiance you may have in the ongoing war could very well affect your access to Fort Greymore. Interesting. Any advice on my current contract? Hmm. I wouldn't worry too much about this Varain giving you the information you need. Give him a good scare, and he'll squawk like a hag raven. That said, if your attack on Varain is witnessed, those Markarth guards are going to be none too happy. All right. You've got people to kill, my friend. Let's go and do more Nazir quests. Uh, I must kill the old woman Agnes, who serves as a servant in Fort Greymore. I may use any means at my disposal. Now he's saying that I need Best to make to sure to it. it's secret, basically. So we're going to put my sneaky armor on. First of all, uh, apparel. Cool. And then. Um, I might look into like some sort of invisibility stuff, but I have got a level up. I think I've got two perks or maybe one. Uh, let's drop a bit of magicka because I am actually going to look into conjuration. And I was going to actually look into alchemy because I'm making so many potions. Uh, next rank, potions and poisons you make are 40% stronger. Potions you mix that restore health are 25% more powerful. 25% greater magnitude. So these are all pretty useful. Let's just have a look at Conjuration. 
because I don't still don't have the smithing points that I needed. Novice Conjuration, Mystic Binding, Apprentice Conjuration, Conjuration Jewel Casting, and Summoner. Atronax, twice as far away. Yeah, I'm a bit torn on what to do there. Is, is Conjure Atronach a novice level? Apprentice level, right, okay. So actually... So in the chat, Sam's do uh, dumped some lore. Um, so the Daedra tried to unleash Oblivion Gates in Black Marsh, the Argonian homeland. The Oblivion Gates are what plagued the Elder Scrolls for Oblivion. But Argonians were such good guerrilla fighters that they entered the Oblivion Gates and drove the Daedra away. Uh, Satan Baby says, yeah, the Argonians are nuts. During the Eben Heart Pacts with Nordic training and Elvish organization, they were insane chock troops and assassins. Too disorganized and too sedentary, specifically to Black Marsh during the Skyrim days, though. They don't get enough love. <laughs> I like Org Argonians. I'll always have a fondness for my abandoned character, the Pineapple Dino. Alright, so I actually need to drop this one first and then go to this one, but I need 25 for that. Okay. And then after that, Adept. So let's go for Summon Atronax and Raise Undead twice as far away. Oh, I can't get that either. Okie dokie. Let's keep conjuring and we'll hold on to that perk. Brother. In which case, I think I will have this on my hand by default and then switch to the shield once it's done. So we're going to go and kill Agnes. We're going to do it sneakily though. Brother. Brother. So where is Black Marsh? You're saying you want a game set in Black Marsh. Where actually is that in the in the in Nern or in uh, Tamriel? Here, yeah, that kill Agnes. Okay. Let's fast travel to the Western Watchtower, and then we'll get on the horse. Oh, so Black Marsh is the southeastmost province of the continent. Yeah, I thought Elder Scrolls Six was going to be uh, Hammerfell, actually. The sort of desert one, isn't it? Oh, so that's the fort. And I guess I have to sneak in. Doesn't look like that's going to be very easy. Um, see you, Talion. Have a good trip to the gym. Thanks for dropping in. Okay. Anyone know if this fort has got like a secret entrance for sneaking? Raymore discovered. Bibbidi, 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 bib, bib, bib. Hidden now. Never come here. Oh man. I've already been seen. Well I guess that's all I guess that's out. Of you. Let's get me shield up. Uh, Dwarven Shield and Major Blocking, here we go. Bowers. My... <laughs> my Atronach is trapped behind the wall. Got heavy armor on, have ya? You're on fire now. Point. Okay. Took a bit of hacking. You've got a double-handed sword, so let's run away from you. Get some healing up. Here he comes. 
bring you over to Shadow Mill. Shadow Mill will take care of you. Another one. The horse is attacking something. All right, good job. This last guy, I think we'll just wab a jack him. Unless, oh no, Shadow Mir, come back. I can take you. There we go. She turned into a chicken. I'm not really sure what the Wabberjack is doing. It just teleported her. There we go. I thought it, I thought it turned people into chickens. Okay, let's go back to my sword. Uh, we'll just heal up and maybe let the Magicka come back. Good luck, Sam. See you later. Okay. So apparently there was a grate that goes in the back. <laughs> Whoops. It's not really my style anyway. Yeah, Fenris, I'm glad I didn't hit Shadowmere, to be honest. Let's just drop a quick save here. Oh, she's in here somewhere. Maybe through this door. Is someone there? Is that? That's a bandit, right. Bandit thug. Sometimes when the kill cam comes in, I'm not sure if it's me that's died or them. <laughs> These guys aren't so tough compared to some of the people we've uh, we fought. Hello, Agnes. You fighter types are always underfoot. You want me to clean? Then scat. You've cleaned your last room, servant. Sleep now, old woman. Let's uh, remain silent. I swear you people are an odd bunch. Please, just step aside that I may return to my duties. Oh, so King says that every single fort has a sneaky entrance. I thought it might do. One shot. When I come to the next one, what I'll do is I'll ask you and then I'll wait instead of just charging up there. Alright, can I fast travel from here? No, okay. Yeah, let's have a little look around here because I do need some reagents. I've not been picking up too many since uh, I've got the horse. A dance in fire. Don't get anything from that. Bunch of clothes. A draft of strength. Yep, yeah, that'd be cool. Probably just sell that, to be honest. <laughs> Remain silent is often my preferred option because the two dialogue options just seem a bit like a bit off kilter. So this looks like a proper dungeon. Uh, with a lot of stuff going on. That brat ain't mine. It could be anyone's. Oh. One rusty septum from me. Sounds like a, an argument's happening. Lydia, <laughs> please. All oh, right, so the sneaky entrances are always optional. Fair enough. Uh, let's see if I've got enough ingredients to cook anything. Cabbage soup. Misc. No, just cabbage soup. That'll do. Sam told me that uh, cooking the food makes its health benefits significantly higher. And that might come in clutch later. 
So while I was streaming yesterday, the Spiffing Brit did his final live stream of his 100 Days Survival one, and um, I won't tell the ending, but it was very dramatic. All right, let's uh, fast travel back to Nazir. And if he's got another one, I'll pick up another one again. He's also absolutely showering me with gold, which is pretty good. How are you today anyway, King? Are you at work at the moment? And you, Satan baby, what's the weather like in Bulgaria? Brother? Oh, Nazir! I beat up that lady. You reek of death, my friend. I salute you. Ah, back from... Agnes Don't is worry, dead. my friend. I'll spare you the facetious quip about killing a defenseless old woman. Infiltrating an occupied military fort and making it out in one piece is nothing to joke about. Well done. Your payment for services... Thanks. It was all the horse, to be honest, Nezir. Satan Baby says that Skyrim has a multiplayer mod. Oh, I've seen... Yeah, I've seen that called Play Skyrim Together, right? Uh, are there any more contracts available? Well, yes. Two of them. But you're reaching the end of what I have available. Your targets are a dark elf wizard named Malaril in the dwarven ruin of Mazincheleft and Helvard, the housecarl of Falkreath. Kill these two, and I'll have one last contract to give you. Whoa. I'm just finalizing some details That Falkreath one sounds uh, a, bit, a bit fussy. Uh, tell me about Helvard. He's the housecarl of Falkreath. You know what that means? He's the bodyguard to the Jarl himself. So be careful. Okay, so Satan Baby's telling me that we're about to go into it's some dwarven ruins. Very dangerous. Uh, anything I need to tool up with before I go in there, or just doing research into dwarven just artifacts go for it. should be both respected and feared, just not by you. Huh. Good luck. All right, Nazir. I'm going to take your dinner. Not to get yourself killed. Oops. I do not want those items. Uh, misc. What did I just pick up? Brother. I'm going to take all the food and do some cooking. I took the plate by accident. <laughs> He's gone so to a... many contracts. So He's gone to the other time. food. Sorry, Nazir, but I need to cook, man. Let's take all these as well. Just completely clear out the Dark Brotherhood, and they'll die of starvation. Oh, I've read that. Okay, so. Doesn't look like I can cook there for any for some reason. Might go back to my house and cook. Okay. That's a nice load of food. If I see a cook fire I'll I'll use it. But now we're gonna go and kill a couple more people. So, uh, you're saying, King, to just prioritise the target rather than go and do the whole dungeon. Fair enough. Sounds like a good idea. Is there a cooking pot in this fire? Nope. What's this thing? Unusual gem. Go, Joaquin. What we do? Go get him. Bump, bump, bump. All right, so what's the one up here? This is Malaril. Let's do Malaril first. I think we'll I think we'll come in at Dawnstar actually, and and go rather than come in at the Stormcloak camp. And I'll just ride the horse over. <laughs> Fenris is like, love how happy you are when you say it's time to kill people. <laughs> Betraying my inner psychopath there. Right, where's my horse? Horsey. 
Shadow Mir, where are you? We appear to have lost Shadow Mir. I don't know what's going on there. Definitely can't die, said Sam. So, and I believe her. So I think we'll be alright. Sorry, goat, but I'm going to do some cooking. Hey! Nice. All right, gentlemen. Let's uh, let's see what's what with this target. I think I'll have to do some sneak, some proper sneaking uh, for the Falkreath house cut. Can I not jump? Can't actually even get over this small wall. There we go. Um, the Falkreath one. But if this one is more of a combat one, I might put my armor back on. Okay, here we go. Looks like we're going into a door. Oh, it's not here. Right, fair enough. Carry on. Ba, 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 ba. Okay, these look like Dwemer ruins, yep. Seems to be some people around. Let's summon Flame Atronach. We'll just let her set them on fire for a bit. And do this. Go for you. Oh, it's levelled up my light armor skill. Um, probably should have actually put my armor on like I said I was going to do. Never mind. Let's eat this apple. Uh, gold necklace, very nice. I've probably got so much gold. We could sleep there. Aha, cooking pot. All right. Say, this is yes, a true son of our dark father. Isn't it the dark mother, the night mother? It's Dunmer time. What's Dunmer? 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 Okay, it doesn't look like I can cook anything. Despite having loads of... Aha! Vegetable soup. Sweet. I've got quite a lot of, like, bits of meat and stuff, so... Let's have a nose around. Read, uh... Min Shaleft work order. You want this in writing? Fine. The deal is you lot help me get the artifacts out of this ruin and I deliver them to my buyer. No artifacts, no coin. I will pay by the piece. Go get as many, uh, so get as many as you can. Good luck getting anything for these without me. Malaril Ferrano. Okay, so that's establishing that he is a bit of a piece of work. I kind of assume a lot of these targets actually are. There's not much here. So let's go into the dungeon. Down there somewhere. Okay, so the Dunmer are dark elves, says Fenris. The Night Mother is uh, the Dark Father's messenger on Nern. Ah, right. It's all very occulty and lore heavy, says the evil Satan, baby. Let's uh, quick save here. As soon as I see anything bad, I'm going to try and avoid like heavy items. And if, if I have specific things that need them, I'll come back. Basically, now bolts don't work in bows, do they? They're for crossbows. So, uh, I think soul gems, please. Let's switch to my trappy trap axe. In you go, Atronach. Uh, block sword. Right, you're down. Okay. 
Doesn't look like I've got big enough soul gems for uh, capturing human souls. Plentiful healing, very nice. Red apple, potato, green apple. What's this thing in here? Taproot. Is taproot an ingredient? I think it is. Uh, oh, I know what it does. Fine. Fine, fine, fine. King says I could spend all the leftover money uh, to get filled Grand Soul Gems for enchanting and recharging. That would be good, actually. Also smithing materials, yeah. I suppose like bearing downtime activities in mind a bit more with, with the funding is, is probably a good idea. Because actually, I do have a Grand Soul Gem, but I think it's full. So actually, soul trapping is probably not... There's probably no point. I think all my soul gems are full. Wait, so taproot is a spriggan, a spriggan heart. No oh, Lydia, sorry. Yeah, these guys are pretty pretty moderate. They're pretty mid-tier, to be honest. Leg of Goat Roast, Minor Magicka, Staff of the Familiar. Summons a familiar for 60 seconds wherever the caster is pointing. I will grab that and sell it. I've only got 22 pounds of I love a good fight. storage. Hey, boy! There you go, Lydia took care of you. Malaril's room key, thank you. That thing that I picked up, I don't think it was a Spriggan Heart, I think it was a piece of taproot, wasn't it? Well, that looks like it's the way, so let's just have a nose around here. See if there's any goodies. Haha. <laughs> oh yeah. Steel sword, staff of fireballs. Nice. That's the first one down. Malaril's journal. Let's see what he was up to. Lucky to have talked my way out of the gates at Bruma. Time to leave Cyrodiil. Skyrim, not so bad if you don't mind the smell of mammoth. Maybe I can forget the research. Forget the contract. The air is clean here. Caravan brought questions, uh, brought questions with it. They'll catch up sooner or later. Money won't do any good. Need some dwarven junk to pacify them. But how? Markarth was promising, but locked up tight and I'm no thief. Need to find another way. Highwaymen killed the driver and tried to rob me. Vivek must have been with me. Managed to talk them into working for me to excavate dwar uh, dwarven ruins they're camped in. Safer than the cities anyway. Uh, these bandits are thick, but nobody's going to find me down here. Actually found some artifacts. Must try to find a buyer. This guy's dropping all of his pronouns. <laughs> uh, maybe I'll actually make enough coin to pay these fools what I've promised for their labour. Can't go to Markarth again. Staying in the ruins for now. What's my next move? Oh, so Satan baby uh, taproot is a spriggan heart. Okay, so... I think I've eaten one. <laughs> I think I've eaten one in the past. What uh, what potion should I put it into? The taproot. Right, let's exit this dungeon. We can always come back here later for another quest. Oh, it does magicka regen. That's actually pretty useful. Oh, I can't cook here. Run, 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 run. 
Right, now we're going to go bump off uh, the house carl in Falkreath. Wherever they are. Oh, I'm not tracking it. Mm -mm -mm. Helvard. Right, where's the pointer over here? Uh, have I gone past it? Aha! Right, full crease, here we go. Let's maybe put our swords away for a minute. Okay, so you can use tap roots for like fortifying invisibility. I see. Okay, I'll experiment with it and make some potions. I might drop... Do you know what? I am actually going to go drop a point into alchemy because I said I was going to and then I didn't do it. Potions and poisons should make her 40% stronger. Heck yeah. That'll also make them worth more money, right? Now it's daytime. Let's find the door and maybe wait till night and go in there. The Jarl's Longhouse. Right, so they're up here. Yes, yes, what is it? We're all very busy here. Oh, I'm detected. Let's put that back. How was I hidden before? Right, there we go. Let's quick save in case this goes horribly wrong. Right, detected again. Hidden again. Uh! Shit. <laughs> I'm just going to reload that because I missed. I missed the attack and I don't think I did a power attack either. I just kind of did a normal one. Insta kill. Jug of milk. Ring of minor striking. Oh, we'll take that and sell it. I'm pretty full on weight now. Garnet ring. Necklace of minor magicka. Okay, let's bounce. I'll spare you for now. Stop quiet. By the wood of the yard. Oh, man. Stop right there. This should be good. Hey, what are you doing? Uh, what should I do here? Lydia's murdering everyone. Just run away. All right. If I come back to Falkreath, will I have to pay a bounty? All right, let's get out of here. I don't know where my horse has gone. You have committed crimes against Skyrim. All right, so if I come back, I'll just pay off that. Pay off that bounty. Uh, let's disappear into the woods. Fast travel here. Um, I haven't fast traveled to find Shadow Mir, but I'm right here anyway. Look, haha, <laughs> cool. Um, but I will gonna go in and out of this door actually. So I just fast travel to where I am and then maybe she'll show up. Yeah, I've lost Lydia as well. Uh, 
All right, Nazir. I did it. I got myself in a lot of trouble, but I did it. Back from your little... Malaril is dead. The elf didn't get... But I digress. Helvard is dead. <laughs> and now I'm in trouble in Falkreath. Well earned, as always. It's going to cost me more to pay off that bounty than I made. Go on now. Right, I got one more from you. You reek of... I'm ready mm. for the last contract. You need to find and kill Safia, the captain of the pirate ship Red Wave. Wicked pirate. The ship travels stuff. the northern coast and sometimes isn't even in Skyrim at all. So you'll have to be patient. Good luck. Tell me about Safia. Ah, yes. The pirate captain. A ruthless she devil, by all accounts. Deadly with a blade. And let's not forget her crew. Loyal and bloodthirsty, the lot of them. This is my final contract. And certainly the most challenging. Be careful with this one, my friend. Okay, Nazir. I will be careful. So, does that mean I can't just go do this instantly? Like I have to sort of wait for it to show up? I must kill Safia, the pirate captain of the ship Red Wave, which is moored at the docks in Solitude. I may use any means at my disposal. Oh, okay, it's just moored at the docks. Fair enough. Let's go do that. Got lost. Oh, here we go. Now, hopefully, Shadow Mirror will just be waiting outside. There's Lydia. The last place I saw Shadowmere was that fortress uh, near Dawnstar, this one. So I might go there and see if she's stuck, like outside. Actually it wasn't there was it, it was, uh, it wasn't there at all. Um, it was some other fortress near a Stormcloak camp. Uh, Stormcloak camp. Oh, maybe it was this one. Oh, be be quiet. I've lost my horse. Do you know where my horse is? Clearly not. Otherwise you would have answered. Uh, any advice on how to get my horse back? <laughs> my special magic horse that I actually love. Or will it just... Sh will she just show up at some point? Uh, let's fast travel to Solitude. The last I saw her, she was fighting... Let's put the swords away, Lydia. Oh, look, it's really colourful here. The last I saw her was outside one of the fortresses I went to, the little little fort, and she was fighting some bandits. I haven't seen her since. All right, it's going to take a quick comfort break there. I'll be back in about two minutes. Alright, and I'm back. 
So, let's go. Go this way. This must be the ship. I just uh, select this, become a serial shout. Bang! Jump down. Very cool ship. I've been going around in some of the hazy areas for so long that I forget how colourful this game can actually be. That is a big ship. Fishing rod. Fuck it. Wait, can I go fishing here? Salmon, nice. You have no knowledge of who you speak to. Go away. Fine. I wonder if this person's going to present, present me like some alternative options. That kind of thing. Hello. Let me guess. You have some business to discuss. Yes, you've got cool face paint. Uh, I represent the dark. You face the Dreadlord. Sithis, let me guess. In the void. By the gods, you Dark Brotherhood are a predictable lot, aren't you? Okay, here's how this works. You try to assassinate me and I kill you. Horribly. I have done this dance before, you know. She's very stuck <laughs> on the wall. Right, you're, you've gone through the floor. Uh, who, oh, the other person's dead, are they, Lydia? Let's see where she ended up. Maybe she's in the sea outside or something. Uh, these guys don't seem bothered. You're not supposed to be in here. You're not supposed to be in here. Fine. You're not supposed to be in here. You're not supposed right. to be in here. These, at least these people are consistent with their message. Let's uh, let's bounce before they see that body. <laughs> King says the murder spree took the innocence from my eyes. I know, right? Oh look, you're quite happy just sat there now, aren't you? You just they just don't know where their boss has gone because she clipped through the floor. Did um did that lady have anything good on her that I probably should have got? I don't think she's in the sea. I don't think it works like that. Wait, I know, I know you. you. Alright, let's go back to Nazir. I imagine a random pirate doesn't have any like essential quest items on them anyway. Still no Shadow Mir. Maybe I can summon her back from here. I feel like I've tread this ground more than anything else in the entire game. Will there ever come a Safia is dead. I said this now I to kill a pirate captain on our own ship no less, simply masterful. You've not only earned your payment, but my respect as well. And believe me, friend, that does not come easily. I'm afraid that concludes our business. You have exhausted all available additional contracts. 
but I'm sure you've got plenty to keep you busy right about now, hmm? Yeah, pretty much. Hunting. Pretty much, Nazir. Thanks so much for all the help. Alright, so what next? What next? What next? What next? Do we hunt for Shadowmere or do we go do another quest? Out of the building again. Right, come on, Lydia. Let's go. Let's go be useful. So uh, the next one is still uh, the Dark Brotherhood. I've been tasked with killing the gourmet, but the but only one person knows the famous chef's true identity and location. A man named Anton Verain. I must get this information from Anton Verain, then kill him. All right, let's do that then. Might just quickly save and then reload and see if the horse shows up. No. Okay, I'm going to have to forget about the horse for a while. Right, over here, Markarth. Fast travel to Markarth. House? No. Anyone seen entering your evening? Out of my way outside. What happened? Don't think you can barter with me like one of those damn short people. I heard you were at the wedding of the Emperor's Under cousin. Under keep discovered. Solitary. Let's head in here. You're here to see the yard. No sudden moves. Understand? Sure. What are you hiding, priest? I'm not hiding anything. It's closed for a reason. Typical Imperial lies. First, you take away town. Old Dwarven City now underneath the keep. From seeing our the the Where's the person? Dog? Building natives. Get to work. We have meals to prepare and no time to prepare them. Right away, sir. Okay, so this Always is the guy. A big meal to cook. Figures. Move it. Get to work. Get to work. <laughs> yes, yes, for the hundredth time. Where is he going? I am a Breton. I was born in High Rock, and then I came here. I am not a rich man. Don't mind the dogs. They get okay. anxious when they haven't had dinner. Ah, uh, yes, High Rock, home of exquisite Breton cuisine. I know who you are, Anton, and where you're from. Who are you? What do you want? The Gourmet. Who is he? Where is he? The... the Gourmet? Never. I don't know what led you here, but nothing will betray my trust. I'll take the secret of the Gourmet's identity to my grave. For the Dark Brotherhood, that can be easily arranged. Right, let's see if we can intimidate. The Dark Brotherhood? Now, now, wait a minute. This woman's Let's not, not bothered. Get hasty. I mean, surely my friend wouldn't want me to endanger my own life, right? Look, his name is Balagor, Balagor Cronolob. Cronolob. He's an orc. The gourmet's an orc. He's staying at the Night Gate Inn. That's all I know. Now, now you'll let me go, right? Of course, Anton. Thank you. I'm afraid not. Uh, yeah, let's lie. Okay, all right. Wonderful. You're welcome. I'll just be on my way then. Right, let's let him. I have to work. Or... You should talk to Anton if you need anything. He's the master. Let's let him chef. wander off, uh, and then kill him in his bed. <laughs> we got the information that we needed. Uh, we have to make sure that we don't get this wrong. 
Please, please, just let me be. Nice. Right. Got anything useful? Amethyst gold, lockpick. Eat the meat, eat the tomato. These two. And let's bounce. Will they find that body? Not at all, not at all suspicious that somebody in the Dark Brotherhood uniform is <laughs> just walking through the temple. Oh, uh, General St So, King's telling me to check my bounty on General Stats. So, where would I see that? Quest, combat, magic, crafting, crime. Okay. Uh, so, I've got Falkreath 1000, Hafingar, wherever that is, 40. Uh, yeah, that's it. So, 1040. And then I have a bounty that I cleared as well. I wish, oh, I wish I could remember where I left that. Oh, Hafingar is Solitude, okay. Thanks, uh, Fenris. Oh no. Let's get out of here. Fenris, were you watching the last time I saw the horse? Do you know where it was? King says, Dan, those are kind of how you could join Luffy's crew. Is that a One Piece reference? Kill Balagog. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where it was that I was fighting. Uh, that I that I, I lost the horse. I feel like it was near here. Was it this one? Fort Greymore. It was Fort Greymore. Yeah, I could look over the replays. I could uh, I could look at the end of this stream and go back, but I think it was here. So if she's not here, I don't really know. The last time we saw her, she was here fighting some bandits. And now she's gone. Very weird. Is that a common Skyrim glitch? Us uh, using uh, losing your horse. Sorry. Let's go to Corvandund. We'll go and kill this guy. Oh, so Venra says that he's also lost Shadowmere in the past. Well, I enjoyed I enjoyed having the horse while we had it. Something icy over there, but an ice wraith. Uh, shouts. Oh, spiders. Frostbite spider. Yo! Nice. That, oh, that fire blast is pretty good. Dragon. Okay. Let's get the bow. Uh, let's stick unrelenting force back on. It's not playing the music for the dragon, which is kind of funny. If I go over here, maybe the dragon will kill the mark for me. <laughs> dragon just doesn't seem bothered about me, so... I don't know. Uh, I've got uh, souls to use, I think, actually. Two dragon souls. 
I've got more souls than words, so I don't need to bother fighting dragons right now. Even though it's pretty fun. Especially if they're not uh, really causing me any bother. Let's get, get up here. So King says, watch this video, it's said to wait 24 hours and fast travel to Falkreath Sanctuary. It should be either in the pond or under a tree just to walk up from it. All right, I'll do this mission and then I'll, yeah, then I'll wait. Night gate in discovered. Oh, let's actually shoulder this stuff in case we want to do a stealth kill. Nice one. Thanks for looking that up, King. King B. The beds and beer are both lousy, you ask me. How do I get down there? He doesn't seem to mind me going down here. <laughs> Okay, I'm not going to save this time, I'm just going to go for it. Power attack! Nice. Okay, let's search him first. Uh, we want the writ of passage. Gold. Now, where do I want to drag his body to, did it say? Uh, quests. Optional drag bag Balagog's body to a hiding place. I think we should definitely do that. Lydia, excuse me. Under barrels. Fenris says under barrels. It's actually giving me a quest marker, I think. I'm just looking around for like a better place, you say under barrels. Do you mean behind barrels? Like around here. I feel like in here is a good spot. Lydia, you're very much in the way there. There we go. Cool. Right, let's get out of here and we'll go and uh, go and turn in. Something I can get for you? Uh, no. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna head out. Cheers. Cool, okay. Let's uh, wait 24 hours then. And we'll travel to uh, Falkreath Sanctuary. I suppose that represents the time it takes Shadowmere to like make her way home on her own. Okay, hopefully she's in the pond. You can tell I'm much more concerned about the horse than the quest line at this point. Uh, she's not in the pond. Uh, small tree. Uh, under a tree just to walk up from it. Oh, I saw a rock then and I thought it was a horse.
Mm, no deal. How unfortunate. Shadow in, no! Okie dokie. Let's go talk to Festus Cracks. to that blacksmith contract it's the part with the severed head i find most impressive they're just My talking confidence. shop oh festus it's i've done your stuff special technique I so the dead so i gathered it seems a certain orc has disappeared which means you not only killed the gourmet but disposed of the body as well Oh, you've got the writ of passage too, I see. Splendid. King says the walk up Splendid. was the pool towards the ah, Falkreath Road in the video. Okay, all right, not the little pool next the to the sanctuary. Cook has met an untimely demise. I'll walk from here to Falkreath um, and see if uh, he shows up there. Okay. You would expect any less from the listener? <laughs> I was wrong about you. I see that now. Maybe we all were. Here's your payment, and a little something else as well, from me. Consider it my way of apologizing for being so damn curmudgeonly. Oh, cool. It's called the Night Weaver's Band. I wore this for years. I want you to have it now. It'll give your magic and sneakiness some much-needed oomph. Now, you'd better get a move on and see Astrid. It's time. Time for the final stage of this grand and glorious operation. All right, let's equip that. Uh, apparel. What was it called again? The Nightweaver's Band. Sneaking is ten percent better. Destruction spells cost ten percent less to cast. Uh, we'll we'll pop that on for now. Yeah. Does death not come to us all? Hello, Gabriel. I am therefore honored to be Make some potions hero, quickly. To play some part in the beans inevitable end. I think that's all I can make. Speak quickly. Okay, we're going to go and talk to Astrid, there she is. So it's done. You've killed the gourmet. And now, Titus Mead II is as good as dead. So it's time. We're ready to assassinate the Emperor. Oh, yes. And I've decided you will have the honor. I won't disappoint you, Astrid, or the Dark Brotherhood. Uh, let's let's oh, butter her up a bit. I have the utmost faith in your success, believe me. So let's begin. Go now to Castle Dower in solitude. Present the gourmet's writ of passage to the officer in charge, Commander Marrow. I'm sure you remember him. You'll gain unrestricted access to the kitchens, and then the Emperor. You're posing as a chef, so you'll be able to poison his meal rather easily. King says brace yourself for this quest. Uh, which poison should I use? Here, take this. Which poison I it's should use? It's called Jaren Root. All it takes is one taste, and the effects are quite immediate. The Emperor will be serving Sithis before he even knows he's dead. Once Mead has been killed, escape through the upper door and across the bridge. I've arranged for it to be unguarded once okay, the okay. alarm is sounded. Y you're going to help me with this one, now right? go, my friend. Go and fulfill your destiny as listener. Anything else before I set off? It took all the favors, bribes, and blackmails I could muster, but I've secured your exit out of the keep. Just follow my instructions, and the Dark Brotherhood will be back. <laughs> Fig says, yes, Chef. <laughs> all thanks to you, listener. Uh, what else can you tell me about Jarin Root? It's a rare plant, found only on the island of Stros Mackay. 
It can be served like any vegetable. Cut up, put in a salad, perhaps boiled in a stew. One taste will lead to nearly instant death. So don't even think about it. Okay. Watch yourself. Let's have a look at it in the inventory. Oh, it's not under potions. It's under ingredients. Jarin root. <laughs> Should I just eat it and see what? See if I get killed? <laughs> I think I should. Jarin root. <laughs> it truly does instantly kill you. All right. Good to know. Okay, so I'm going to walk from here to Falkreath and see if I see my horse. And then we're going to go do that quest. So there's a pool. Not this direction, this direction. Now, Falkreath, I've got a bounty on, so I might not actually go in there. Let's suppose, uh, King, you saw in that video exactly where they meant. Did you actually see it? I see. Oh, I'm going to go this way, then. towards the sanctuary. By the order of the yard, oh, are you joking me? Right <laughs> Should I just pay this bounty off? Do you reckon? Just, just to get it gone? I think I can afford it. Smart I'm going to do man. it. I think I had a lot of stolen food. I love that I like just go in and murder someone and uh, that gives me a bounty. Like I've murdered the house Carl of the place. I don't think I'm going to find the horse. I think the horse is gone. So I'm going to stop going on about it and, uh, and crack on. Okay, where is the thingy up here? Solitude. Report to Commander Marrow. Wait to see me when I know you are, stranger. Wanderer like you must have plenty of tales to tell. But I'm afraid I'm too busy for here. The city is crawling with Imperial Legion, and you know what? I'm still nervous. I'm lazy and useless. Stop right there. The tower is off limits until further notice. Hello, Commander Marrow. Show Marrow the gourmet's writ of passage. What's this now? Uh, order of His Eminence, possessor of these papers. The gourmet. By Azra. The gourmet. I... I'm sorry. I didn't realize. We had no idea who to expect. You understand. They're not dressed as I would have suspected. Oh no, I'm dressed Please, like an assassin, aren't I? <laughs> Proceed to the kitchen straight away. Gianna, the castle chef, has been eagerly awaiting your arrival. Uh, King Sizzle looking to finding Shadowmere. Yeah, the quest for Shadowmere. It's fine. If it's gone, it's gone. It is Skyrim. It's a fairly glitchy game. I think it would require me going back and loading in saves from like two hours ago. Which... We, we, we had her for a while, and that's fine. Right, where's the guy?
Oh, wait, what's the objective exactly? Let's just check before I do anything to you. Uh, report to Gianna, okay. So I don't want to kill Gianna. Hello, Gianna. I told you people, our stocks are fine. Now put whatever you have over there, then get out. Okay. You misunderstand, for I am the Gourmet! Okay. Oh, finally. When I heard the Gourmet was being brought in to cook for the Emperor, I could hardly believe it. It's just... Yes? It's just, well, you're an orc. <laughs> if the people of the Empire only knew. I mean, now I understand your need for secrecy. Most would... Silence. I'm ready to prepare the, the grand feast. Oh, well, huh. actually, you're not. Wearing a chef's hat, I mean. There's one right over there on the shelf. You can't very well cook without it. Oh, I should have nicked the guy's chef. Uh, the guy's chef hat. Uh, right, let's steal all this food. We'll begin as soon as you're wearing the hat. Check the shelf over there. Wouldn't want the Emperor mistaking you for someone else. There's now, giant's toe in that. I'm taking all the food so I can make some stews. This is making the food we'll is actually pretty exciting for me, to be honest. Shelf I don't know why. Wouldn't want the Emperor mistaking you for someone else now, would we? Garlic. Uncommon taste. Oh, we've read that. Okay, before I put the hat on, I'm going to make some. We'll begin as soon as you're wearing Dude, the hat. Pot. Check the shelf over there. Oh, she won't let me. Mistaking you for someone else now, would we? Fine. Apparel. I did pick up a cooking pot by accident. Uh. There we go. Let's get that hat on. You can put your hair on. Yeah, I look wicked, especially in my like assassin pajamas. Oh, just look at you. Absolutely brilliant. Now Enough, the now gourmet is here to cook, not talk. Let us begin. Oh, yes, but of course. <clears throat> the Emperor has requested your signature dish, the potage le magnifique. I've taken the liberty of getting it started. But the cookbook only says so much, and everyone makes the potage differently. I would be honored if we could make it the gourmet special way. The base broth is already boiled. We can get started right now. So, uh, which ingredient should I add next? Right, so King's telling me... Uh, here's what you want to do. So, as soon as they're taste testing, run for the castle door as instructed by Astrid. Best map out that escape route. Okay. Uh, oh, what do I want to put in there? Carrots? Carrots? Really? Okay. What next? The next ingredient is vampire dust. Vampire dust? Seriously? Hmm. Yes, I guess I can see how that would add a more earthy texture. And oddly enough, we do have some on hand. All right, what next then? We should now add a nern root. Really? Oh, I use nin root as a special seasoning all the time as well. What a wonderful idea. Oh, nin root, she called it. Okay, now what? Diced horker meat. Mmm, horker. So delicious, I swear. Is there a soul alive who doesn't enjoy the taste of... Sorry, I didn't mean to get carried away. There we go. One cup of diced horker meat. I have to say, the stew seems done. Add anything else and we may dilute the distinct flavors. So, is that it? There is one final ingredient. Here, add this. Give the jarin root. Oh? What is this? Some kind of herb? Are you sure? The potage tastes perfect as it is. Any other ingredient might... Now, now, Gianna, who's the gourmet here? <laughs> I'm sorry. Of course, it's your most famous recipe after all. All right, then. Your secret ingredient's been added. And if I may say so, it has been an honor getting a chance to prepare a meal with, well, the best chef in the entire empire. I'll carry the stew pot and lead the way up to the dining room. I'm sure the Emperor and his guests are dying to meet you. Ha ha ha. They will be dying, yes. Good pun. Right, I'm going to cook loads of stuff. 
Oh, I don't seem to have the ability to make anything apart from vegetable soup. Vegetable soup it is. All right. <laughs> I guess I have to do some more fishing. So you're saying map out the escape route. Is this the door? So run. It's funny that she just carries it in the pot. So I want to get to that door, yeah? This door here. Here we are. Gods, I'm nervous. We'll go in in just a moment. Please, I'll serve. You just stand there and be amazing. Yes. Okay. An unfortunate turn of events, that. But an isolated incident. And I have been assured that the fault was with the man's son alone. Truth is, we are in no danger whatsoever. Killing an emperor can be... I'm going to drop a quick save here. ...but befriending one. Now that's beneficial. As I'm sure you'd all agree. Aha! Here we are, honored guests. I present to you the gourmet. Ah, the potage le magnifique. So delicious. My friends, as emperor, I of course reserve the right of first taste. <laughs> Oh, how marvelous. Just and delicious. we're gone. It is everything I had hoped it would be. It's I something's wrong. I... Oh no. All right, he's dead. By the gods, the gourmet and the chef have poisoned the emperor. Get them! What? No, no, you don't understand. There's been some kind of mistake. I... Ah! Ah! Uh, I, you said map out the escape route, but, but the door is locked. So, go this way. Oh man. Well, she got killed, but she's still alive, which is kind of weird. These people are... Whoa, God. <laughs> What's happening? That man was by far the most insufferable decoy the Emperor has ever employed. I'm glad he's dead. I'm even happier that you killed him. You, an assassin for the Dark Brotherhood, have just made an attempt on the Emperor's life. Oh, would have succeeded hello. had it been the real. I thought it was this guy talking. Surprised? So was I when a member of your family came to me with a plan. We worked out a deal, you see. Oh, Cicero. I get you, and the Dark Brotherhood gets to continue its existence. But you know what? I've changed my mind. How about this? I kill you and butcher each and every one of your miserable little friends. Your sanctuary is being put to the sword right now. That's what I think of this deal. You killed my son. All of you. And now you'll pay the price. Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. I mean, Make he's sure not wrong. We, we weren't really goodies. <laughs> Sorry, Lydia. Uh, let's just take out these dudes. So one person left here. Yeah. Yeah. 
Liddy, you just put me on fire. Uh, <laughs> plot twist betrayal. I wonder who was the betrayer. Was it Cicero? Because I guess that wouldn't have happened if uh, I killed him. By the order of the Stop oh, are you joking me? Uh, then suffer the Emperor's wrath. Yeah. Let's go this way. Can I get over here? It's like I have to go through these these locks. All right. Let's do it. I think I'll change my armor. For my, like, proper armor. They don't fancy playing, paying, like, 1,500 pounds down. Sorry, Solitude Guard. Who are you? Alright, let's uh, go back. Do some healing. Anyway, you don't need to die, Solitude Guard. You can. He looks like a key NPC, so let's get the heck out of here. By the order of the Yarl, stop right there. Just run. We'll take care of that bounty another time, I guess. Die. Fenris says he banned it. You deleted the message. I didn't see it. Whoa! Dudes everywhere. Man, now I really wish I had my horse. I think we'll have a bit of stamina potion and we'll run away. Wow, that was intense, man. I'm guessing the person that dobbed us in has been let let live, perhaps? Or maybe it was Astrid all along. Okay, where do we need to get to? The sanctuary. Wait a few hours. Can't believe they caught us. I mean, we kind of deserved it. We were going around doing all sorts of mad stuff. An Assassin's Guild is probably not great. Excuse me. a few of them around. Maybe I should summon my Atronach. Alright. Here they come. It's 
That's what you trained for. You should have trained harder, man. You should kill an empire. Horses! This is not my horse. be like uh, fire fire stuff everywhere like it's all going to go up in flames Vizara is dead. A werewolf. Wait. Oh no. Who was a werewolf? Oh, uh, Arnbjorn was a werewolf, wasn't he? Amulet of Kynareth. Oh, Arnbjorn, you died. Let's take your pelt. with the flame Atronach in here. Just, if anything, just let me know where where people are. Okay. Right, he's dead. Not quite many gold. See you later, alligator. Gabriella's dead. Right, Nazir is alive. Oh, I beg to differ. Cut his head off. <laughs> Eat those. Nice so alive. I was starting to wonder. The Emperor, it was all a trap. Someone set us up. Was it you, Nazir? Considering most of us are now dead. I assumed as much. And before you ask, no, I don't think it was you. <laughs> well, maybe I did. But you saving my sorry hide just now sort of erased any doubts. So, thanks. Yeah, maybe we should get out of this, like, smoky environment. You've got that right. Only a matter of time before we're bro roasted alive. Come on. Yeah, let's bounce. What was that? Wait. <laughs> Mercy, eh? Looks like you didn't give my mates mercy. Did ya? <laughs> Fenris says in the chat, who brings baked potatoes to a raid on shady, shadowy occult assassin's headquarters? You make a good point. Oh, that's the same. The Night Mother. I'll just use my clairvoyance. That should, out of here. that should help. It's telling me to go Come this on. way. Got to find a way out of here. Oh, I'm going to try it, but I'm going to save first. I 
could become ethereal. In there. What about Nazir? Come on. Got the final way out of here. You just get like launched like a rocket. Sleep. Sounds like we've gone into the sea or something. I feel very bad about leaving Nazir on his own. I really hope there wasn't an alternative route out. Hurry, Nazir. I'm telling you, he's in there. I'm going. Okay. As fast. Good job the fire didn't kill the vampire. As I can, you stupid she devil. I don't see you helping. I'm not exactly built for manual labor. Now, come on. <laughs> One more. Oh. Yeah. There. Can you get it open? I think so. Just hold on a moment. You must speak with Astrid. Here in the Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow down. It's all right. You've been through a lot. Maybe you should just sit down for a bit. All right. Uh, I have to speak with Astrid. She's here in the sanctuary. Follow me. She's here? By Sithis, I feel I like Astrid is probably her. the betrayer. Nazir told me what happened in Sullivan. You poor dear. You've been through so much. Right, so the Night Mother is telling me where Astrid is hiding. From the looks of things. Oh, these uh, mushrooms survived. That's pretty good. King says, interesting but tragic plot development. Yeah, I agree. And I think, I can't help but feel like, you know, we were definitely the baddies. Like, being an Assassin's Guild and just killing anyone. Oh. <coughs> oh, this Why? is tragic. You're alive. <sighs> Thanks to this. <coughs> no, that's, that didn't work. You're alive. Astrid. Shh. Please. Hello, Art is in the air. How are you doing? I have to say. And not much time. I'm sorry. So very sorry. The penitus. You've walked in at a pretty weird, gross moment <laughs> at the end of a long quest line. To them, he would leave the Dark Brotherhood alone. Forever. Oh, my Sithis. I was such a fool. All of this. It's that all was Astrid. Fault. You are the best of us. And I nearly killed you. As I've killed everyone else. Oh, you sent me to die? Traitor! You'll be judged by Sithis in the void. I pity you. Mm, I'm going to remain silent. Don't you see? It was me. I set you up. Wanted you dead. I betrayed you. The Night Mother. Everything I hold dear. And now Mero has betrayed me. I just wanted things uh, to stay the way they were. 
Before Cicero. Before the Night Mother. Before... you. I thought I could save us. I was wrong. But you're alive. So there's still a chance. A chance to start over. Rebuild. That's why I did... Uh, this. Don't you see? Got my eye on that I nightshade there. to the Night Mother. I am the Black Sacrament. What are you saying? I'm saying you were right. The Night Mother was right. The old ways. They guided the Dark Brotherhood for centuries. I was a fool to oppose them. And to prove my... <gasps> sincerity, I have prayed for a contract. You lead this family now. I give you the Blade of Woe, so that you can see it through. You must kill me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hang on a minute. Astrid did the right thing. Do it, Lesnar. Kill me. End her suffering. Oh, it retrieves the Blade of Woe. Oh, that was optional. Yeah. Hang on, let's have a look at the quest. Is it optional to kill her? Uh, kill Astrid. All right, you have to do it. Fair enough. Uh, let's... Uh... Oh, well, I don't really want to, but she does look like she's not in a good way. Absorbs 10 points of health. Yo, Astrid. I'm sorry. But you kind of... You kind of messed up, to be honest. Thank you. Yeah. That's rough. I think we're gonna... I'm gonna put the chef's hat on her. Uh, let's give her the... This one. This one, this one, this one, this one. If I need that stuff back... I'll come and take it. Astrid. By the sands, I still can't wrap my head around it. Wow, that was intense. King says she wouldn't have survived those are college degree burns. Yeah, I, I do have the heal other spell. I tried it on her, but it didn't work. Hello, Night Astrid Mother. Astrid is dead. It is as it should be. May she find redemption in the void. But while you live, the Dark Brotherhood lives. We must fulfill our contract. Emperor Titus Mead the Second must be eliminated. Speak oh. with Armand Mortier. At the Bannered Mare in White Run. He will know the true Emperor's location. But first, inform Nasir of your plans. For you are the listener and must bind this family together. Well, some of the other Dark Brotherhood be annoyed that they're not the listener. But... Alright. <laughs> Fenris says my character looks like a green Klingon. It does a bit, actually, yeah. It's got uh, a, a lot of eyebrow action going on. Let's, let's close your coffin. You, you, you get cold. Um, okay, I think I might go grab my kit <laughs> that I just left on Astrid's body. I'll all right, Nazir, hang on. I'm having trouble coming to terms with all of this. I'll just follow Nazir's lead. Let's, uh... I'll leave the chef's hat. Cool. Got my assassin pyjamas back on. Oh, look, that didn't get destroyed. That's weird. All right, Nazir. By Sithis, what a mess. 
I guess this is the end. Not exactly. The Night Mother has spoken to me again. What? Well, what did she say? I must speak with Armand Motier once more. Armand Motier? But that would mean... The contract is still on. The true Emperor must be assassinated. You mean there's still a chance? But how? Our plan has gone to ruin. Everyone is dead. The family... My family lives on, Nazir. You have to trust me. <laughs> All right then. Go. Go, my listener. Find out what that slimy bastard Motier has to say. Then send the Emperor to Sithis. Ah, but when you're done, there's no use returning here, is there? I was thinking, the Dawnstar what, Sanctuary. This, right? We could make a proper home there. Listen. When you're finished with this Emperor business, meet Babette and me there. I'll find some way to move the Night Mother. Don't worry. Now go! And come back with a barrel full of gold, huh? That's right, Nazir. Babette, my girl, pack your things. We're moving. So, Evil Satan Baby from Hell, uh, we got double-crossed by Astrid. And now she's toast. Literally. Uh, so the nightmare, the the nightmare, the night mother has charged us with, uh, I think, one final assassination. And I'm going to kill the emperor in inverted commas. Ugh. Oh, that's Festus. Oh, that's a shame. Let's take his gold. Okay. Talk to Armand Mottier. Now, Whiterun is one of the few places I don't have a bounty. King says Ashtray instead of Astrid. I got a lot of stuff to sell, so I'm going to take a quick comfort break. We'll be back in like one minute, and then we'll do some selling, and then uh, and then we'll get on to the next bit of the quest. I'll be right back. Okay, and we're back. So, uh, first port of call. Actually, I'll go in and I'll go and disenchant everything. I've got kind of a gameplay loop now, which I'm sure you're all familiar with from your own plays, which is to disenchant, make potions, enchant everything, and then sell it. <laughs> and I might see if I can get some pay for more one-handed training. Maybe pay off my bounties. Is there a way to pay off bounties from the menu? Or do you have to like go to the town and get caught? Blade of Woe. Uh, yeah, I'll disenchant that. Absorbing health might be useful, actually. I won't disenchant that. Ring of Minor Striking, get rid of that. So Talian's asking, how far are you with the game main quest-wise? You're just doing a bunch of side quests. Yeah, so like Skyrim, like all the Elder Scrolls games, it is primarily side quests. Like if I just burn through the main quest, um, I'm probably like halfway through the game. But in terms of this, I'm 
I don't know, I'm hundred hundred hours away <laughs> from like finishing it. I'm not really sure. Uh, let's see what we can enchant. The ebony sword. Grand soul gem. And then I want to stamina damage. Like stamina damage is pretty good actually, especially when I get up against two handed <clears throat> enemies. Yeah. Fenris says stamina damage is uh, always good. Orcish sword. Come to Dragon's Reach to discuss the ongoing hostilities, like the rest of the great warriors. Gold necklace. What can I put on a necklace? Uh, fortify heavy armor. Okay, next item. Amethyst ring. Enchantment. Fortify heavy armor. I'm going to keep one grand soul gem, actually. Garnet ring. Enchantment. Fortify heavy armor. I'll just do these and then we'll, we'll sell off a whole bunch. Sweet. I want that heavy armor stuff. So let's uh, first of all put my heavy armor on. Cool. And then that one. Okay, that one. Gold necklace, heavy armor skill. Cool. And I think we can just sell everything else. So we'll see what Farron Gold wants to buy. Take a look. Staff of Firebolts. I don't really want that. Staff of the Familiar. I don't want that. And that's us done with Farron You know, if you've got the aptitude. Let's go down to, uh, what's her name, Adria. We just received Hello, Starchip. Thanks for dropping in for just a few minutes. I hope you're doing well. I hope you've had a nice day. I was, I was flagging before I started the stream. I was quite tired because I uh, stayed up super late. I couldn't sleep at all. And uh, now I'm feeling all right. I had a lot, had a lot of water to drink and... Had my dinner before I started and stuff, and I'm feeling a bit more I human. Let's wait till the morning. Oh, actually, is it? All right, let's see what Bellathor will buy. Let me know if you see anything you like. Every, I'd even trinkets, odds and ends, yeah, yeah, that yeah, sort yeah. of thing. Buy my weapons. Apparel. Keep my fine clothes. My shrouded armor, I'll just keep hold of that just for now. Uh, 
Uh, and then we'll sell off what's he got that's worth the rest of his money. Okay, good. Uh, let's go and clear out Arcadia Cash, whatever her name is. What is it, Orc? Got something for just about everybody in here. Give a holler if you have any questions. Make some more potions. Wow, I can do. I've got loads of stuff. Let's make. Let's prioritize the really good stuff. Uh, resist fire, very useful. Resist frost. There's anything I can help you with. You have but to ask. Uh, restore magicka. Weakness to fire is an interesting one because I do have my atronach, so actually that could come in useful. Uh, let's do a fortify stamina. I think that's all the potions I can make. Um, let's sell to her in decreasing order of not You'll unimportance. You look rather pale. Take a look. She keeps telling me I'm pale. So rude. Sell those. Fortify conjuration could be good. Right, resist poison. Get rid of that. Uh, resist magic. And then what have we got here? Restore magicka. <laughs> there we go. Fortify sneak. I'll get rid of that. It's worth 90. Oh, she's only got 14 left, so uh, let's just sell that one. And right, that's her. Now we're going to sell to Adrian. If you need a remedy. This is an important part of the game. When I play D&D, I, I like to spend quite a bit of time shopping. Um, I don't get to do it very often because most players hate it. So I've right, got some pelts. So let's make some leather. Let's not turn everything into leather strips until we absolutely need it. Let's see what we can make. Steel, leather, imperial, studded, make some studded armor, iron, hide. Okay, that was pretty much useless. Okay, let's wait till... Oh no, I'll sleep in my house. That's that's what I'll do. Ah, uh, where it all started. Where all the weird assassination stuff started. Yeah, we need a good sleep. Let's sleep for 10 hours. King says, King's talking about the merchant loop where you can uh, sell stuff to the merchants and then buy it back and all of that stuff. Um, I want to spend my money on training in one handed. <laughs> so I'm selling to them, doing the training, and then. Uh... Oh, raw beef. Can I cook something? Because I've got so much stuff to sell. So I'm just kind of emptying their inventories and. Uh... Than using the money up. But I do want to pay off my bounties first, so I might just quickly check. Yeah, so my bounties are pretty high. Half in Gar bounty, so that's solitude. I'll need to go there and spend two grand, two and a half grand. Let's sell what we can to Adrienne. Got some good pieces out here. Hello. I don't claim to be the hmm, blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. So the stuck at armor. So she doesn't really buy ingredients and stuff. 
Let's go. Don't forget to check inside the shop if you need anything. Anything I can improve. Oh no, I can improve that. I lack the perks to improve magical items. Ah. Okay, uh, let's uh, go and dump off all my ingots and stuff, because I think I'm probably only going to do smithing in Whiterun. It's like where I come back to every time. Let's go to my chest. Just dump off everything that's not like immediately useful. Store, 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 store. Huh. Store. <laughs> uh, soul gems will keep on us. Leather strips. Store those. Uh, ingots. I'm kind of keeping my assassin clothes for a while I think I'll store like all the food Because uh, I never seem to have enough to sort of do all the cooking, you know, uh, and I would like to. Ingredients we'll keep uh, for making potions, that's super useful. And then I think I'm ready to venture forth again. We've had a good sleep, we've got loads of money. So the question is, should I go do that quest or should I go and like clear off my, what's it called, at White Run, uh, at uh, Solitude? Right, talk to Amon, what's here? So he was in the pub. Starship says uh, getting a lot, of, uh, not like getting a lot of sleep is awful. Um, nice that I'm still streaming though. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. Not sleeping properly does leave you feel, feeling you kind of empty and weird. Actually, I'm just gonna after I finish streaming, I'm probably gonna um, do the. Do all the thumbnail stuff on YouTube and then go straight to bed. I think. Hello, Amond. What is it? I oh. said I didn't wish to be disturbed. We have unfinished business, Motier. By the gods, you, you're alive. But I had heard your sanctuary. Please, you mustn't think I had anything to do with that. I wanted the emperor dead, the true emperor. I still do. It was Maro. He. The Emperor. The real Emperor. Where is he? You mean, after all that's transpired, the Dark Brotherhood will still honour the contract? Why, this is astounding news! Wonderful news! The Emperor is still in Skyrim, but not for long. He's on board his ship, the Kataraya, moored offshore in the Solitude Inlet. But you must hurry. If you can get on board that ship, kill Titus Mead II as contracted, I will reveal the location of the dead drop that holds your payment. Uh, okay, what kind of security should I expect? Surely you're joking. This is the true Emperor, not some half septim look-alike. He'll be surrounded by elite bodyguards, I'm sure. You'll have your work cut out for you. Still, everyone assumes the Dark Brotherhood has been completely destroyed. They may be a bit more lax than usual. You're saying they're going to be more lax than usual, but the Emperor's decoy has li literally just been assassinated. <laughs> it's in the Solitude Inlet. That's the channel just north of the docks. I suppose you should go to the docks and swim? Well, I'd swim on the back of my horse if it hadn't disappeared into nowhere. <laughs> yes. I can imagine you'd want to settle that score. Last I heard, he was at the Solitude Docks conducting the Emperor's departure. Kill Marrow. Please, make haste. The Emperor's ship won't stay moored forever. We won't get a chance like this again. All right. Sounds good to me. If you're looking for a challenge, you've come to the right. Let's go. Do you get to the Cloud Lucky District often? My eyes open. Damn dragons could swoop down at any time.
Okay, so we need to go kill Marrow. We'll do the optional one. Uh, let's... Uh, Blue Palace. Yeah, let's just travel to Solitude and go south and then work our way over. King says, here's a very important thing about the ship. When you're done with the business, don't jump I've off the ship. Crimes against Skyrim and her people. Oh yeah. You in your defense. Bro. I'm gonna pay off my bounty. Smart man. Now come along with us. We'll take any stolen goods and you'll be free to go. After you pay the fine, of course. Alright. So the fact that I've murdered the Emperor's decoy just doesn't matter. Uh, where's the way out over here? So how much money have I actually got now? Still got 3,000 gold, so that's good. And I could get more, I've got loads of stuff to sell. I could just do a trip around all the different towns, uh, clear out the merchants' funds, but I don't really want to do that right now. I kind of want to do the missions. So, we'll go and kill Marrow, because he's, he's annoying. The Emperor's cousin killed. Right here in solitude. I do feel like we kind of... It's kind of our fault. Wait, I know you. You went into the Emperor's Tower just before... So that's the ship. Uh, hang on, let's look at the map. If I want to go... Down to there. This is the ship where we killed the pirate lady and she clipped through the floor. I know I could have uh, ethereal down there, but I just wanted to see if I could make it safely. Just parkour down there. Uh, so Fenris is telling me there's a very good sword on the bow of the main ship. East Empire Company warehouse discovered. Ooh. Must have missed that when I got here before. There's Marrow. You probably want someone else. I'm just the stable boy. Oh, I don't have my sword equipped. There we go. Hello. You. You. Let's get the shield up. No, I bet I've got another bounty after this. Um, no, I'm stuck in the water. Alright, looks like the Atronach got him. Uh, Fenris is asking if I've been to Solstheim yet. No, I haven't. I understand that that's to do with the DLC to go and do... Is it the Dawn Guard? One of the DLCs, and I'm not doing that just yet. I'm going <clears> to... <throat> oh, Lydia. <sighs> How'd you end up there, mate? What happened? That spell looks dangerous. Keep your distance. Uh, what's he got? Yeah, I'm gonna do. I think I'll do like a stream where I do the entirety of the Dawnguard DLC, and then maybe like a couple of streams for the other one. I'm not sure exactly how I'm gonna approach it yet, but I am aware of it because when I tried to play it before, I did start it, but then it, I got a bit overwhelmed. <laughs> so the Emperor had the decoy. Poor bastard got murdered too. But then I guess that was his job. Okay, now where's the other ship? Up there. So let's fast travel to the Rue Palace. Uh, Fenris, didn't you say I should go to the inn and ask why it's named? Do you mean the inn where I just was, or do you... What is it? Or do you mean the inn um, at Solstein? No, in Solstein. Okay. Well, yeah, I'll do that. When I when I make do the streams that are like specifically doing that DLC, then yeah, I'll do that for sure. I'll go and get all the lore and everything. So ex 
exciting when new folk come into town. You won't spoil. <laughs> Fenra says you won't spoil. I don't believe you. I don't think you'll be able to restrain yourself. Get some ingredients. Oh, I've got level up. All right. Uh, let's upgrade stamina. And then... Heavy armor's doing pretty good. Let's have a look at the perks in heavy armor. Juggernaut. Increases armor rating for heavy armor by 40. Uh, well fitted. 25% armor bonus of wearing all heavy armor. I think we'll go for that. Oh, you do move slower with all heavy armor on. It wasn't until I was wearing the assassin stuff that I realized. Spoilers, there are enemies around these parts. All right. I will bear that in mind, King. Thank you. I have to wonder, what does the Dragonborn do once he's summoned by the Greybeards? Let the one be taught. Again, he's... Oh. Okay, so I've just done a silly thing and I've bloody... <laughs> I fast travelled into solitude and just I've ended up back where I, where I started, so I guess we'll swim. We'll go back to where I was and we'll swim around. Uh, become a cereal. Here we go. Oh, there's the boat. Look, it just it hadn't um, I hadn't loaded in when I was there before. Just did a whole loop of solitude for no reason. Hi Sam. So uh, let's just quickly catch Sam up on what I've done. I've lost Shadowmere completely. Um, I'm doing what I think is the final thing of the quest line for the Dark Brotherhood. Um, Astrid uh, sold us out and got burnt up. I had to put her out of her misery. And now we're doing a gig for the Night Mother killing the Emperor. Whether it is the actual Emperor, I don't know. King says there's also a Baron's Eye Stone where the Emperor is, and I think it's your only chance to get it. Sam is asking me how I lost Shadowmere. I don't know, but it was a big issue on the stream for quite a while. Uh, let's uh, wait. Oh no, if I wait, maybe the ship will go? Yeah, we tried a few different things to try and get Shadowmere back and it didn't work, so I don't know. But I enjoyed Shadowmere while I had her. No, Sam, we, we tried. <laughs> we tried that stuff. We tried respawning, we tried waiting 24 hours, walking around, fast travelling. Um, going in and out of doors, all sorts of stuff. Hopefully she'll respawn. I'll keep going back there and checking every once in a while. I even reloaded the save and stuff. No dice. A Kataraya. <sighs> That's it's actually looking for one. a ladder. All right, enough of this. Uh, I guess I should put my sneaky, sneaky stuff on. Something to eat. I cannot 
so much for sneaking. I might reload this save because I thought I could sneak through here and I'd just like trash the whole thing. Now everyone's alerted. Uh, so Sam says you can get another cool horse, Arvac. He's a horse skeleton you can ride around on. You can get him in the Dawn Guard DLC and you can summon him. Oh, okay. Well, okay. But I think Shadow has just gone back to her house. And that's fine. I don't mind. Well, well, well. Sorry, mate. <laughs> nice pose. <laughs> Jeez. Jeez, thief. I've come to steal the Emperor's cheese. So, King, whereabouts do I get that stone you were talking about? Is it in here? Excuse me, Lydia. Sam says this quest is somewhat at odds with, uh, with the side of the war I've selected. Yeah, I know. Like, I'm fighting against all the Imperials and all the people in solitude are, like, after me. It feels kind of kind of bad because I want to be their friend. But I feel like they'll just forget. Lydia, could you not stand in the doorway? Lydia! Excuse me. Oh, my God. Oh, even look, I think <laughs> even being ethereal, you can't walk through Lydia. Oh, let's go up here. Okay, so King says that the stone is in the Emperor's room when I meet him. Look around. Let's, let's get an Atronach on on board, shall we? On fire now, mate. Right? Uh, that's okay. I can get through you pretty easily. Gold amulet of Stendar. Oh, that's actually pretty good. I might sell that though. Never should have come here. Oh, alchemy lab. G ladies. <laughs> ladies, excuse me. Oh my gosh. Could you... Ah, soul gem. Oh, that's why they were making me stay in there. Makes sense. Lydia. This guy's already dead. From the looks of things. Wow, we just... yeah. That guy didn't stand much of a chance. Okay, where's the Emperor? Through here, perhaps? Nice. What was that? Uh, 
crunchy. None of these are carrying anything useful. Oh, these guys are loaded with a bit of magic, look. Kataraya Master Key. Oh, okay, this is for the Kataraya Stone, is it called? The Kataraya Stone? Yeah, okay. Any good books? Mixed unit tactics. Ah, oh, I thought that would give me a buff. Got a lot of copies of the same book. What's all this then? Battle plans. <laughs> King is telling me to wabberjack the emperor, and uh, I shall oblige. I think I'll save beforehand. I mean, I'm going to be able to kill the emperor, right? It's, it's not like Palpatine. It's just a guy. So, like this sword is pretty powerful. So I feel like using the wabberjack is not really cheating. That's that. Uh, let's get the Atronach back. Kill these archers first. Oh, I missed. <laughs> nice one, Lydia. One left. Did it kill the Atronach? Okay, and King's telling me to... <laughs> Sam says deal with the consequences, no saving. All right, okay. And King's telling me to hear him out first. All right. There's going to be a bit of a, Th a Thanos thing where, like, he uh, has a point <laughs> kind, of, kind of thing. I am kind of on the side of the Imperials, to be honest. Not in real life, but in Skyrim. You need some shoes, mate. Alright, let's equip the Wabberjack. Should I leave Lydia out here so she doesn't go mental? Start attacking? Oh no, if I put my stuff away. Okay, I have saved, but that's only in case of glitches or me messing it up. Don't sneak to him, just straight talk to him. Okay. And once more, I prove Commander Morrow the fool. I told him, you can't stop the Dark Brotherhood. Never could. All right. Come now, don't be shy. You haven't come this far just to stand there gawking. gawking? Uh, you were expecting me? But of course. You and I have a date with destiny, but so it is with a Satan baby's laughing in the chat. Hmm? Yes, I must die. And you must deliver the blow. It is simply the way it is. But I wonder, would you suffer an old man a few more words before the deed is done? No. <laughs> yeah, I will. I'm listening. Well, I thank you for your courtesy. You will kill me. I have accepted that fate, but regardless of your path through life... I sense in you a certain ambition. So, I ask of you a favor. <laughs> An old man's dying wish. While there are many who would see me dead, there is one who set the machine in motion. This person, whomever he or she may be, must be punished for their treachery. Once you've been rewarded for my assassination, I want you to kill the very person who ordered it. Oh. Would you do me this kindness? I mean, he's kind of a butt. So, yeah, I mean, I'm not... I've killed this many people so far. And politics is a bit, like, dirty, so I think I would. What, what should I do? What do you guys think I should do? Do it. All right. Sam says do it. Thank you. Now, 
on to the business at hand. Do I it. <laughs> Do it. Are you gonna fight? You just gonna? Oh, dude! I'm... <laughs> Kill the emperor. The night mother has spoken to me once again. Is this the real emperor, though? All right, let's wabberjack him. Let's take his clothes. If I wabberjack him and he turns into a goat, do I not get his clothes? So, uh, oh, I've got a choice now. He's telling me to take his clothes and wabberjack him. Should I just stab him up? Tell you what, look. Just in case the wabberjack turns him into a goat and I can't get the clothes, I am going to quick save. And if it all goes horribly wrong, I'll reload. <laughs> it's a bear. <laughs> all right uh well oh no all right okay he's back and he's dead fine boots emperor's robes kataraya master key bon bon <laughs> oh let's go put let's put the I can I, I can replace this with the, the my fine stuff with the emperor's stuff. So let's wear that and the fine boots. Let's put my stuff away and see how I look. Oh yeah, I look I look awesome. Farewell, Emperor Titus Mead. Right, let's find this box. Paper. Unlock display case. Cross your fingers, everyone. You know how painful this can be with me. Oh. Got it. Got it. Oh, it's just a mace. Oh, all right. I thought that was going to be where that stone was. Uh, where's the stone? Where's the super secret special stone? Is it in his desk? Yeah, the stone of Baron Zaya. Really obvious location. Uh, I don't see it. Nowhere. Oh, she said, I'll look it up. I thought you said look up. <laughs> like Halo ODST. Maybe it's in here. Oh, look, more Emperor's robes. Necklace. Gold rings, thank you very much. Flawless ruby. Oh, this is a gold mine. Let's have two sets of the Emperor's robes. Apothecary satchel.
gilded wrist guards. picked up a quest from that. Investigate the Golder legend. I did not read the book. <laughs> they went with it. Ah. Excuse me, Lydia. 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 Well, I don't want to leave until I found it. The Cateria. Oh, this is just the boat, right, okay. Uh, Okay, so we can't find that stone. So maybe it's not in here then. Oh! That's weird. find my way back up again. Um, Talion, I killed the Emperor of the humans. <laughs> um, of, of Tamriel, basically. Is that right? Tamriel? Okay. Out here. So the tip of the boat. Sam says the boat will never despawn, it'll just sit there for the rest of the game. Oh, so I could come back if it turns out that it's, that it's here. Okay, here we go. Up on the bowsprit. Wind shear. Whoa. Wind shear. Bash attacks made with this weapon have a chance of knocking enemies down. Oh, and it looks sick as well. It looks like a pirate sword. Solid. Oh, jump. <laughs> oh, no, I fell. Hang on. I'll go up again. Whee! Well... Sam says I went too far. <laughs> Let's try that again, shall we? I think I'll... Oh, look. We, oh, look. Um, I didn't yet have wind shear. There we go. Cool. It's actually less damage than my current sword. But it does have knockdown. So I'll install it for now. Fish. Coin purse. Gold. Apothecary satchel. Restore stamina. This is great. This is a bonanza. Report on Atronach forge experiments. Well, that went pretty good. Mammoth cheese bowl. Yes, please. Steal the cheese. Conjurer's potion. Bloody rags, no thanks. Spiky grass. Knapsack. The wolf queen. 
The Wolf Queen Book 2. Boots, clothes, and a circlet. Uh, that's worth loads of money. Take that. Sweet. Well, that was pretty successful. Uh, I wasn't too sure what was going on with that stone that you told me about, but um, maybe that's like somewhere else. Could be. But we've killed the emperor. We've turned him into a bunny. Oh, Nern Root goes woo woo. See you later, Fenris. Thank you for stopping by. Oh, there it is. Nern Root. Is Nern Root super rare then? Okay, what's the next thing to do on that quest? Uh, report to Amon de Mortier. And uh, kill him, from the, from the looks of things. So let's do that right now. I'm going to end up with another bounty. <laughs> uh, in White Run. I think, um, I mean, it will be good to get this quest line finished from the point of view of not having to pay off loads of bounties all the time. I used to be an adventurer like you. Then I took an arrow in the knee. Wow, it's the first time I've heard someone say that this this playthrough. I heard somewhere that taking an arrow to the knee was uh, like a um, old-fashioned joke for saying you've got married. Is that true? Uh, like in Norse countries or something? Say the line, Bart. He said it. He did say it. If it's a lady, you're I think I saw it on a meme or something though, so I don't know if it's actually true. Them, Lydia, you can wait there. Aha, you're back. Titus Mead too lies dead. I know, I know. I received the news not moments ago. <laughs> this is glorious. My friend, you may not realize it, but you have served the Empire, indeed all of Tamriel, in ways you cannot possibly imagine. Ah, but you care little for politics. This Am is I that right? guy that we found you down in like a dungeon. Money, <laughs> and money you shall have. Your payment waits for you at a dead drop. It is inside an urn, in the very chamber where we first met, in Volenrood. Now please, go. Collect your money. And let us never look upon one another again. Our business, thank the gods, is concluded. All right, well, uh, clearly, I think, I think we know what we have to do here. What is this madness? Rexus, help me! He's a chicken. Everyone's kicking off at me now. Uh, let's have a look at my bounty before I reload that. <laughs> White run bounty, forty. Oh, that's fine. Let's uh, let's get out of here. You have committed crimes against Skyrim and her people. What say you in your defence? Well, I turned a man into a chicken. Uh. I'm the Jarl's Thane. I demand you let me go at once. Let's just pay them. Now I'm going to pay the bounty so that I can save that Jarl's Thane thing for if I get in real trouble. Oh, that guy got his bow out. Is it, an, is it a dragon? Yeah, I might save it for when I, I've got, uh, like, you know, two and a half thousand bounty like I did in Solitude. <laughs> what is it that they see? Is it a dragon? Or are they just um, still on alert from me? I don't think I had any stolen goods, Sam, because I 
had already paid off my bounty in solitude and then I dumped I sold loads of stuff and then dumped the rest in my chest here so I think I was all right let's have a little sleep till like what 6 a.m oh you reckon that the guards were reacting to a dragon yeah maybe I don't have any I've got one soul left over and I don't have any words of power so I'm not bothering with the dragons at the moment unless one like really goes for me they just don't seem to they don't seem to be particularly antagonized by me all right it looks like i'm tracking two quests so let's just i don't know just just one wait is he not dead kill he's not dead He didn't die. Oh no. He turned into a chicken that didn't die. Maybe some other time I'll reveal your destiny. You had a lucky escape there, my man. Diamond, emerald, flawless garnet, flawless ruby, sapphire. Hell yeah! This should be good. I should probably heal. Oh no! <laughs> I forgot I got no armor on. <laughs> All right, let's put let's put me armor on. Do it properly. Not here. I told you to meet me in Riverwood. Okay. So the Wabberjack didn't kill him. We'll have to do. Your payment awaits. And don't worry. <laughs> but we had a deal. It's the kill. All right, it's a little better. Now, if I've got the murder bounty that's really high, I'll uh, I'll use the old stain thing. All right. Are oh, these guys? Man, I wish I had my horse right now. Can you take me somewhere? Can ride? Yes. I can take you to any of the old capitals. My carriage Not is while I'm being attacked, I guess. Stop to pick lavender while I'm running away. All right, good. Okay, that went well. Uh, where is the thing? It's here. Volunrude. I think there are some like rare weapons in here as well, right? It was one of the quests. Cool, cool, cool. Missed that the first time around. Missed that too, apparently.
This room looks really cool. Whoa, that was a lot of money. Awesome. Let's check my crime stats. Uh, white run bounty, 1,040. Um, I could just pay that off now. Not bad. Hello. Yeah, not bad, eh? Blocked. Not bad at all. Very satisfying end to the quest line. Right, let's go uh, talk to Nazir. Over at the Dawnstar Sanctuary. Fish. I just catch fish with my hands. That's actually pretty cool. I really want to get all the ingredients together to cook stuff. I wish the cooking worked like the potion making, where you just throw in anything instead of having to make like set recipes. That would be cool. That's probably a mod, though, right? It's prob someone's probably done a cooking mod. Alright, Nazir. I'm going to make Nazir the boss if I can. I didn't mean to pick that skull up. Let's get rid of that. That's kind of macabre. Uh, misc skull. There we go. Oh, Nazir. I killed the Emperor. Sam's in the chat says uh, that there's a Skyrim recipe book in real life that she wants to get. Well, yeah, I remember you talking about that what before, actually. The Emperor? Titus Mead II is dead, by my hand. Truly? Could you have brought us more wondrous news? Recent events notwithstanding, my this sword. is a happy day for us, my friend. Despite your misfortunes, my new sword. you stay true Windrush. to the Dark Brotherhood. Or whatever it was called. You've saved us all. And for this, you have my eternal thanks. Now, of course, I must ask. Killing the Emperor... How much did Motier pay for such a thing? <laughs> All right, now, should I tell him the truth or should I lie? What do you reckon? Just tell him the whole thing, okay. Ha! Remarkable. Well, the old bastard certainly made it worth your while, didn't he? Now, might I offer some advice? You should go to Riften and find Delvin Mallory. I believe Astrid had you visit him once before. Mallory is an expert obtainer of goods. We can use the money to repair and refit the sanctuary. Make a true home okay, for What do you have paid the ultimate price by getting turned into you a chicken? That, and I'll see what I can do about recruiting some new additions to our family. Hail Sithis. I got a trophy. Complete Hail Sithis. Employ Delvin Mallory services. So I can use that prize money it to is done. fix this place up. That's not bad, I think. Emperor Titus Mead II lies dead, and the Dark Brotherhood yet lives. But our work is just beginning. Approach me, listener, and hear my words. Ah, the Dark Brotherhood forever. Okay, quests. Approach the Night Mother. Where is she? There she is. Yet another child has prayed to their mother. 
Speak with a scheming servant at the keep in Markarth. Accept his gold, then eliminate the target. So begins a contract bound in black. All right. So, yeah, Sam in the chat saying um, that I've completed the main storyline and now it's just like random missions. Do they Are they infinite? Do they just keep going? Listener! Oh, man. <laughs> Cicero, it's good to see you again, old friend. Cicero. <laughs> you are a fool to spare me. What did you think I would be grateful? Cicero should be listener. Not you. Now you will die. Ah! Listener! Humble Cicero lives to serve. Shall we give Lydia a break and take Cicero with us for a minute? I think we'll uh, first thing I'm going to do is go to Whiterun and sort out my bounty. Uh, then I'm going to go and talk to Delvin Mallory and see if he can fix up that spot. You have committed crimes against Skyrim and her people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What say you That's what I'm here for. Uh, I'm the Jarl's Thane. Demand you oh, let me go at once. Forgive me, Thane. I didn't realize it was you. We'll look the other way this time, but even the Jarl's influence has its limits. Be more careful. Okay. I will. I'm going to clean up the community. You tried mercenary work? It might suit you. Let's chuck this cultist in the river. There we go. Um, so, yeah, uh, should I spend the 20,000 with Delvin Mallory, uh, or should I just save it and spend it on my own stuff? That's the big question, really. I'll have a little look at some other quests. So this is a, these are Radiant quests, and they go on forever, so that is essentially finished. Uh, so I've got a whole bunch of other stuff that I can do. Okay, so I'm saying to upgrade the Sanctuary, so uh, I will do that. Let's go over to Riften. We're going through the tomb. I had another run in with a thief's kill. That was pretty fun, to be honest. Um, I think a highlight was turning the emperor into a bunny or a hare. That's pretty. That's pretty silly. Visiting Riften. All are welcome at the Temple of Mara. Sam, if you want me to upgrade the sanctuary, then I will. I might go and offload all my sneaky stuff uh, in there as well, like in a chest there. Or maybe in my house, I'm not sure which. Dark Brotherhood complete. Yeah, I did get a trophy on PlayStation King. I've completely forgotten what it was called now, but it was basically, yeah, Dark Brotherhood complete. Delvin Mallory, Still hello. Quite a good bit of jobs available. If you're looking for some extra coin. Can you repair and refit the Dawn Star Sanctuary? The Dawn Star Sanctuary? Is that where you lot are holding up? Uh, what exactly are we talking about here? Uh, yeah, it will leave me with exactly 1,000 gold <laughs> from the 20,000 that I got. <laughs> Let's just do it all. <laughs> chamber fit for a king and all that right no problem give you a big bed decorate a room real nice maybe even throw in a few extra baubles looking for work of course you do secret entrance yeah. 
We can do that. Uh, I'm thinking a sewer grate on the outskirts of Dawnstar leads to a tunnel dead inside. You'll be in or out, quick as a coney. Need some gold? I may have some work for you. Tell me what you need, and I'll get my people on it. So I'm guessing the sanctuary is basically uh, uh, my house in Dawnstar, right? Road I know and love. This for business or pleasure. That what was it matter. Right. I'll see that it gets done. Oh, I bought a torture chamber without realising I didn't look at what it was. <laughs> of course you do. Yeah, oh, well, let's just buy it all. An alchemy station. Maybe a little garden with some choice plants. Ooh, all right. plants. Consider yeah. it done. Got lots of jobs available. Interested? Of course you do. You banners. Banners, huh? Heck yeah. Try to put you the place up. All right, you got it. Still have quite a good bit of jobs available if you're looking for some extra coin. So that is done, is it? Employee Delvin Mallory Services. It looks like I've done it. Maybe I just got to leave. Wrong way. Still have quite a good bit of jobs. I'm afraid that's it, my friend. I've done all I can. I hope the place is at least livable now. And uh, good luck with your murders. Nice. Even if you're one of us, you better not make trouble. So, I suppose the big question is, uh, what uh, quest line to pick up next? I've still got the companions, which I did say it'd be funny to take Cicero on. Um, I've got the Thieves Guild, which I have got all my sneaky sneaky stuff for, so that could be good. Um, I'm more inclined to do something combat heavy, if I'm honest. I've got the Civil War, hey, or I've just got like absolutely tons of side quests. Or yeah, the main quest, of course, yeah. Sam says do some main quests, get the Dragon Wrench out, which would actually come in really handy. Uh, let's travel to Dawnstar. Oh, I'll go have a look round. There's... King says the next main quest is sneaky-ish. Hmm. Okay. Well, it's still a bit dusty down here. Let's see. kill someone. Let's close that. Uh, let's see where my garden is, though. That'd be good. Oh, the apothecary's garden. Look at that. That's so cool. I love it. Ugh, human flesh. Gross. That's gross. I guess I can... Uh, I guess I can eat that and see what it does. Damage health. Gross. Okay, damage health. Oh, I can make lots of... Lots of damage health potions. Uh, fortified conjuration. We've made a lot of potions there. Yeah, Sam says it wasn't orc flesh I ate, it was human flesh, so it's fine. 
slight. <laughs> <laughs> Let's leave Lydia with her stuff and we'll give Cicero all oh, new but stuff. The listener jests with poor Cicero. You already have company. You don't need my help at all. all right, where's Lydia? Lydia! Where is she? I can't find her to dismiss her. had enough. She's had enough of all this like politicking. Oh, well. oh it's looking pretty good. Look at this. Oh that's sick. That's the door to sky. Oh that's the that's the Dawn Star shortcut, is it? Dark Brotherhood Initiate. How may I serve you as you wish, listener? Nice. Let's see what Nazia has to say. Maybe I'll make the potage. Le Need training in light armor. No thanks. But not the way you make it. <laughs> no, certainly not. Well, I'm happy with uh, how we've set up the sanctuary. Oh, uh, not. Please. Too happy with this, actually. <laughs> Wish maybe I hadn't bought that torture room. Yeah. Oh dear. Let's uh, find my way out. So fast travel somewhere and Lydia should show up. Okay. Uh, let's just fast travel to Dawnstar. Dragon. Okie dokie, so we want the orcish bow, uh, but first we want the flame astronaut. Uh, then we want to heal. Uh, and then we want to take a resist fire potion. Potions have I, what poisons have I got? Uh, let's go with uh, okay. Let's go with the lotus extract. It's a powerful one. Right, where are you? Make sure I can definitely hit you. got the lotus poison on it now. It's pretty good. I don't know if that's going to work that well on a dragon, but they all seem to be blood dragons coming up. Um, if you see one and you abandon it, does it? Is it always the same one that you find next? Iron arrows will do no damage. Okay, right. Uh, weapons. That race. Oh, where's it gone? Hey! No! Come and fight me, you muppet. Get in here where the guards are. Alright, want my Atronach back. Let's 
slightly less panicky now that I kind of understand <laughs> a bit more about how the dragons work. Uh, Orcish Bay. James Liddy is uh, no way to be seen, as usual. Potions, let's go with uh, Resist Fire again. Finally, use a potion of magicka, which I like never use. There we go. And then back to the boat. Right, so it's, it's slow going, but we will get there. Oh no. Arrows? No, 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 no. Okay. Come on, nearly got him. Come on, Blood Dragon. Down you go. Yeah. Solid. Iron Great Sword of Frost. Uh, take the iron arrow anyway. Awesome! Yeah, I should definitely do some main quests because I've got dragon souls and no words of power to put them in, so you get more words of power if you go through the main quest, right? Ah, oh, Dawn Star Guard died. All right, King, I'm actually going to be wrapping it up in about 10 minutes anyway. So uh, thanks so much for stopping by. Uh, I'll catch you on the next one, which mm, I don't know exactly when it's going to be. It might be Sunday evening. Not sure. Haven't decided yet. I'm still messing around with the schedule and all of that, seeing what works well. Um, but yeah, thanks for all the support and thanks for the advice and the tips. Shame we didn't find that weird stone, but there you go. I'm going to fast travel down to Whiterun, see if I can find Lydia. <laughs> King says, hail Sithis. Take care of those flames. Where is she? in her room. Let's sleep for 12 hours and see if she shows, shows up then. If I lose Lydia and the horse, that would be really bad. She's not on the chair in my room.
That's I don't claim the finest weapons and all. Sell off some stuff to uh this one. Don't forget to check inside the shop if you need anything. Let's go up to the Yarl's table. Yeah, the game. Yeah, so I'm saying the game seems to think I've got someone following, um, because yeah, I couldn't. I couldn't grab Cicero. So very strange. Let's go up here and see if she's hanging around. Lydia, where are you? Nope. Weird. Or maybe I have to do the rest of the game on my own <laughs> without a follower. Okay, well, I think that's probably a good point at which to uh, to end it there. Hopefully she'll show up and so, hopefully so will my horse. So that was the full quest line for... Some that say the Dark Brotherhood is back. Stronger for uh, the Dark Brotherhood. Sorry, that guard started talking. Um, I think next, let's have a look at the quests. Uh, we won't do Dark Brotherhood forever. Although if I have any cash, I'll go do some. So I've got some random side quests. Uh, but I think we might look at doing... The story quest, which I think is, excuse me, uh, diplomatic immunity. It seems that things are worse than Delphine thought. Dragons aren't just coming back to life, they're being resurrected by other dragons. Delphine suspects that the Falmore might be bringing dragons back for some sinister purpose. She's going to talk to her contacts about how we can infiltrate the Thalmor embassy. Uh, and I've got all my sneaky stuff for that. I have done this mission before, um, so I can wear that. Let's uh, Let's put that all on now. What I could do with is a good dagger, actually. The gods have been... Let's go sell some amulets to Farangar. I got some jewelry for you. Hmm. I had you figured for a mage. I think you'll appreciate this. Uh, sell him one set of emperor's robes. You know, if you've got gems. them, there's a trink. Take a look. Remember, we'll enchant the rest at some point when I've got soul gems. Yeah, no, no, I just... He's only got a certain amount of money and I, I don't have any soul gems, so I didn't want to be carrying that stuff around. No soul gems. Oh, I've got one grand soul gem. It's fine. I'll end up, I'll get more stuff. I've got quite a lot of money. I've got uh, 5,000 gold, so... Enough to buy a house in another town, actually. I think. Storm cloaks in. Let's just fast travel around a bit and see if the, see if the horse comes back. Nope. No Lydia either. Oh, Sam says the houses are different prices in other towns. Fair enough. Cool. Okay, well, this seems like a good point at which to save it. 
so uh, yeah on the next one we'll uh, jump in and do some mainline story stuff and hope that our followers show up <laughs> Sam's put in the chat you've well and truly fucked it what if I messed up what have I done wrong Just my followers. Oh yeah, I don't know. It's like weird. It's a weird one. No Shadow Mere Respawn, no Lydia. Well, Skyrim has a reputation for this sort of thing, doesn't it? So if that's if I have to weather through without a companion then I guess I just will have to. Um, all right, well, thanks very much, everyone, for watching. If you're watching on Catch Up, feel free to uh, leave a like or a subscribe or whatever, and um, I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now. <laughs>